Uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today, damn, it is bright as hell right here. I don't know. This lighting is eh. Don't look too bad in the cameras. All right, guys. So update on the bike. So the bike, I told you guys that the forks ended up leaking, right? I actually ended up getting those fixed. Uh, the bike is fixed. I've actually been riding on the bike. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with it anymore other than the fact that uh, I try, I've been trying to record and all that. I've actually been recording, but I don't really like the videos that have been coming out because the audio is all messed up and all that. So, uh, yeah, uh, I should be uh, getting better audio. Now I'm at this park right here and people are starting to come in. I'm like, is there an event? Usually this park is not that packed or anything. I don't know, people might just be hanging out or whatever, but anyways, Anyways, uh, today, uh, you saw from the title um, and the thumbnail and all that, I just wanted to show you guys my 2019 Dodge Charger SXT. So, I ended up getting this charger, what, two years ago, whatever. Uh, I've had it for two years. I've always wanted to do a video and a review on it or, you know, like just introduce it to the channel, but I haven't been able to. But yeah, anyways, guys, this video is pretty much going to be me introducing my 2019 Dodge Charger SXT uh, to the channel. Let's go. All right, guys, so this right here behind me is my 2019 Dodge Charger SXT. So I know what you guys are going to think. It's a V6 and it's not a V8, but you know what? Hear me out, guys. I actually have a good reason for getting a V6. Yes, I could have afforded a V8. Did I want a V8? Absolutely. But uh, even the guy in the dealership, my man, you're going to want a V8. And you know what? Uh, he showed me the V8. It was only about, I think it was a... I don't know. I, I don't know which one it was, but uh, exactly. But I think it's like it might have been the RT. I think uh, Charger would have been maybe four thousand dollars more than what I've got this one for. All right, guys. But yeah, the V8 would have been about four thousand dollars more. Is that a lot of money? Uh, no, I could have easily got the V8 version. But hear me out, guys. The reason I got the V6 version is they don't make all-wheel drive in a V8 version. At least these ones right here, the uh, newer generations or whatever, there was no option of uh, all-wheel drive in a V8 version. And that's all the reason I really got this V6 because it has all-wheel drive. Guys, I live in Colorado where it snows a lot and we get pretty bad snowstorms. I already have a V8. I have a, as you guys know, I have a 2011 Corvette. It's a V8. I've gone that with, I've been through two snowstorms or two winners with that thing. I am not doing a third one, even though I've already been in a couple of snow storms. I've lived, I've literally got stuck in that Corvette. Uh, I've only got stuck in parking lots, guys. Uh, in the road, in the streets, I've actually never been stuck. You know, uh, I've never, I go slow uh, just because uh, for some reason I can't get uh, the power to the wheels. Uh, isn't, you know, just cause there's a lot of snow. It has to uh, travel through a whole bunch of snow and slush and all that. I end up going about 20 miles an hour max. That that Corvette won't go any further. Uh, so yeah, and imagine with the Charger. I'm not sure, I'm not even gonna risk it. So this all-wheel drive right here has all-wheel drive, or this Charger right here has all-wheel drive, and that's pretty much the only reason I got it. Would I have wanted a V8? Absolutely. If they made a V8 version, uh, if or the, if they had a V8 with an option of all-wheel drive, I would have gotten that guaranteed. But yeah, so I'm pretty much stuck with this V6, which don't get me wrong, fuel economy is actually, when I first got it, it was amazing. When right now, eh, it's not really that great, especially for a V6. But anyways, guys, uh, let me walk you through on, I've already told you why I got the V8 pretty much, I mean, the V6 pretty much, just all wheel drive, honestly, guys. Uh, price wasn't really much of an issue. I just wanted something 
I could daily drive it. I'm going to put a whole bunch of miles on it. I already have a V8, so I'm not really like, oh, I have to have a V8 charge or whatever. This is pretty much my, my daily driver now. I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of miles on it. I've already put a whole bunch of miles in the two years I've had it. So yeah. But anyways, yeah, all wheel drive. That's pretty much the biggest reason I ended up getting this charger, uh, a V6 charger, all right? Don't hate me on that. I know a whole bunch of people might say like, oh, you know what? I could have got a V8. I'm not going through a winter with a real wheel drive uh, charger, all right? Not going to happen. I've already gone through two winters with uh, the Corvette, and they it is not pretty. Parking lots, I, I've always, I've had people have to push me uh, to go up hills because uh, I, or I have to go in reverse to be able to get off uh, such thick snowstorms or th just slush and stuff like that. But yeah, with the Corvette, I really don't have a whole bunch of problems in the snow unless it's like a big blizzard or whatever, or it's uh, ice. I it, Corvette doesn't really do good in ice, but come on, like a whole bunch of vehicles don't do good in ice. But so yeah. But yeah, guys, this here is my 2019 Dodge Charger. Uh, I've only done one, actually, yeah, I've only really done one mod to it, which is the window tint. Uh, I want, other than that, it's pretty much stock. Uh, this window tint is, I think, uh, Expel uh, ceramic tint, uh, which is actually 15%, uh, which that's what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to get the ceramic just because it has a whole bunch of heat resistance. Uh, or at least it has more heat resistance or heat blocking and all that. So this is a 15% uh, window tint, which honestly I love because uh, uh, I really love. You can't, I don't even think you can see inside. You can barely, well, I, not based on the camera, but I could see inside, uh, especially when there's a whole bunch of light, even in the rear, eh, the rear it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. All right, so yeah, let's go and hop in the inside. Damn. So on the inside, oh, it's actually quite nice. You got this steering wheel right here. You got the, uh, check out the doors. And doors is pretty simple. You got your little controls right here. You, uh, gas, uh, be able to open up the gas. Uh, speakers, I think this is Alpine speakers, whatever, which isn't too bad. Uh, and then just, you know, uh, what, whatever this material is actually, do quite like it. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, there it goes. I actually do quite like this. Uh, keep it. I like simple stuff, honestly. It's not nothing too special and all that. But yeah, you have your uh, speedometer and then your uh, RPMs and all that, which is pretty cool and all that. Uh, this dash is way better than <laughs> what I got on my Corvette. It's one of the things I love about this. So yeah, and then your controls out here. Uh, one of the things I actually do love about this. Uh, this. Yes, guys, I, I do have an automatic. Manuals are kind of disappearing. I don't know if they make the chargers in the manual anymore. I'm not too entirely sure, but yeah. Uh, eventually, I do want to get this switched out. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess I guess you could consider these mats some modification. I did, did getting these because uh, you know I don't I want to keep this uh, carpet as clean as possible, even though it's yeah you can't really see it, but it's a little dirty out here. And uh, damn, but yeah, this thing, I need to hella clean this thing. And then uh, this right here, uh, I'm gonna do something about that. I'm gonna do something about this material right here in a couple in a couple videos maybe, or a lot sooner. Uh, and then you got your, your dash. The only thing I didn't get tinted was these, um, what's called the windshield. Everything else I got tinted. Eh. And then you got your, your little thing. Your little window or a mirror and you got your little mirror right here which eh, it's basic nothing real special about that uh you're able to uh keep your sunglasses right here which i never do uh and then you got your couple lights you got your passenger one uh mirror and all that and you got your glove box in here and i got another uh, mat over there which i do got some in the rear as well and you got your window tint, which actually the rear actually doesn't look that bad. And then, yeah, I got this to be able to uh, just put on the windshield. It is hot as hell, guys. It is hot as hell outside. The rear seats, you could actually fit a good amount of people. Or, I mean, you could have, it's really comfortable back here. Even though I hardly ever ride in the back, uh, there's sometimes I do ride in the back. But I have other people driving, and then I ride in the back. But super comfortable. One of the things I do like about this tint though, 15%, you could 
Uh, the AC doesn't have to work as hard and it doesn't get as hot and as, you know, a non-tinted window. All right, guys. So yeah, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to do tint first is even though I ha I've just done it, I just got it done um, on the 17th, which is literally yesterday from what I'm filming this video. Today's the 18th that I'm filming this video. Hopefully I can get this out Tuesday. Yeah, this, this video will be out Tuesday. So hopefully I'll get that out Tuesday. And yeah, uh, it, it's a lot better. I, I'm loving this tent, even though uh, I haven't tried it riding it or driving it at night. So I'm not too entirely sure if it's going to be a good idea or not. I've never actually, the tent I have on my Corvette, I think it's 30. I've never gone this low, 15%. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Even though uh, I really do want to get my Corvette tinted to 15%, I'm probably going to do that. I'm loving this 15%. It, uh, Yes, when I walked in here, it was a little bit hot, but it wasn't it wasn't unbearable. Like, you know, you get a huge heat wave uh, from uh, what's it called? Uh, Non-tinted cars, because I've had this non-tinted for like two years and it sucks. So, yeah, I finally got it tinted. Uh, ended up costing me four hundred dollars. I paid um, it would have cost me about half if I didn't go the ceramic tint, but I just wanted more heat rejection. Whenever I turn this on, uh, you'll check out my gas mileage, which I, I, I like this little screen and all that. It'll, uh, I don't even know if you can see that. You know what? Turn the AC off. That's going to be annoying. Oh yeah. You can see that 18.6 miles per gallon. Excuse my, <laughs> yeah, I need gas. So, uh, yeah, baby girl needs to eat, which isn't too bad right now, but yeah. Uh, and then you got this screen right here, which is pretty cool. And uh, you could have like, what, 12 channels, which is pretty cool. You, AM, FM, Sirius XM, uh, which I no longer have. So yeah, uh, the Sirius XM worked pretty cool. Uh, and then you can uh, connect your own uh, device, aux cord, Bluetooth, which I've never actually used Bluetooth. And uh, your AC comes with apps, which I never use any of this stuff. You're able to connect your phone. Then you could turn the screen off and then you have a whole bunch of settings and which is pretty cool uh then you have your cup holders which is pretty cool got some glasses in there uh you got you're able to connect your aux uh, a couple of phones i think when i first got this car i got like at least give or take 30 miles per gallon uh especially in the highway now it kind of declined 18.6 i'm like yeah, that's that's pretty low. I'm like, even for a V6, I'm like, are you serious? But you know, it's a charger. It's all wheel drive right now. What I like about this, it's not 100% all wheel drive. So if I'll go down, uh, it's on real wheel drive. Whenever the sensors pick up that it needs or it loses traction or whatever, it'll go on to all wheel drive, which is pretty cool. And I, I like having that. I thought it was 100% all wheel drive and I was freaking out because I bought this during the summer and it wasn't all wheel drive. And I was like, hey, what's going on? I thought this was all wheel drive. And then I was looking it up. Uh, whenever it loses, whenever it loses traction, it'll go onto all wheel drive, which is pretty cool. During the winter time, it's pretty much all the time all wheel drive, except maybe after snowstorms and, and it picks up that, oh, you know what? You, I'll need, I need to go to real wheel drive. So it saves me a bit of gas mileage and all that. So uh, that's good. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that's my 2019 Dodge Charger SXT. Again, don't hate on the V6, all right? I know it's a V6, but you know, I had to do it. Uh, I'm not, if they made a VA version, I would have, uh, with all wheel drive, I would have gone for that. But sad to say, no. And honestly, uh, this price range, I think I paid like 18,000 at the time, just because of the market uh, was really good. Um, cars were a lot cheaper back then. Uh, just because of, I think, uh, I don't even know what reason it was because just because of COVID or whatever, uh, cars were like <laughs> super cheap. So I was like, you know what, let me get a car real quick, uh, especially for the winter time. But anyways, guys, that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell for notification. If you haven't followed me, follow me on Instagram at Miguel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Right, I'll see you then.